Let's move on to the optical activity. When a plane polarized light is made to pass through a certain substance, the plane of polarization of the emerging light is not the same as that of the incident light. But it has been rotated through some angle. This phenomenon is considered as optical activity. The substance which rotate the plane of polarization are said to be optically active. The typical examples are quartz, sugar crystals, turpentine oil and sodium chloride. Optically active substance is of two types. The one is dextro-rotatory and the other one is levo-rotatory. So the dextro-rotatory will be having, will rotate the plane of polarization in the clockwise direction and this is the structure. Whereas the levo-rotatory Rotate the plane of polarization in the anti-clockwise direction. So as indicated, dextro rotatory is right-hander. So which rotate the plane of polarization in the clockwise direction on looking towards the source. Whereas this one which rotate the plane of polarization in the anti-clockwise direction on looking towards the source. It's a levo rotatory. Light from a monochromatic source, yes, is made to pass through a polarizer, P. The plane polarized light is then made to fall on an analyzer, A, which is in cross position with P. No light comes out of A. Whereas when a quartz crystal is inserted between the polarizer and analyzer, some light emerges out of the analyzer A here. The emerging light is cut off again when the analyzer is rotated through a certain anode. This is referred to as optical activity. The amount of optical rotation it depends on the thickness of the crystal, the density of the crystal or concentration in the case of solutions, wavelength of light used as the temperature of the solution.